it has given me everything and more than all it has given me immense satisfaction there are huge good things which have happened in the last 60 years but many bad things have happened and really i am proud of our country and uh, people from our country have earned a great name in india and elsewhere we have taken to the villages by this panchayat raj act only corruption and politics dream of a great country that the my country will become a developed country by 2030 India should encourage rural liberalization. Namaskar once again we are here for my india my tribe a uh, unique initiative by global tv in association with the uh, uh, crossroads show creations and v4 uh, news uh, and with us we have uh, uh, two eminent personalities of this region we have the chairman of new mangal port trust and the port trust that definitely made a lot of difference to this part of the country mm-hmm. and we have the chairman of uh, unity hospitals uh is a pioneer in quality uh, healthcare in mangalore i think uh, it was uh, one of the, uh, the first hospitals to uh, give a different uh, angle to healthcare uh, i would like to and a visionary to i uh, would like to welcome dr habib uh, for the my india my pride uh, we are uh, here together to discuss about the the possibility the the future of uh, uh, south kendra Uh, with regard to healthcare and uh, tourism yeah. healthcare because you are in the field doctor yeah. uh, and you have practiced uh, quality healthcare and uh, yeah. others are they have followed yeah. Yeah. Uh, later yeah. and uh, tourism mm. uh, we have a mm. uh, chairman of npt uh, yeah. tamil vanan who had Uh, responsible for getting a lot of cruise liners to yes. Mangalore, and there uh, the support at the Panambur Beach uh, mm-hmm. as a government initiative mm-hmm. has uh, definitely you have seen the change now. Mm-hmm. So I think that you are the right person to discuss about the future of uh, this region. Yeah, as you said uh, correctly, so Mangalore was known earlier for Mangalore tiles and for banking. originally for so many decades or even a century uh of recently mangalore is known for education healthcare mostly education and as you would have noticed from the famous writer peter drucker of management the few growth sectors of the century are healthcare and education uh, tourism infrastructure all put together I think we are in the right place. See, tourism. You know, we have the beautiful harbour here. We have the airport now. Recently, nice Russia. beaches. Nice beaches. Backwater. Natural beauty. Lot of uh, religious pilgrimage centres are there, and it's a plural society with all types of. Lot of uh, churches are there, temples are there, mosques are there, and all types of people you find there. The very beautiful natural greenery all around. See on the western side. and uh, in the eastern side uh, we have got western guards so it is a very beautiful place and there's lot of uh, scope for future tourism in healthcare as well as in education the possibilities say as i see is a plenty on is education we can come into research so far we are the basic education to some level professional educations 
Now the next stage of education you can come up to like IIM, IIT type where you research and have new products coming out which can contribute to the society as it. Because research is a very, very important part of the modern development. As you know well, we are shifted to the knowledge society now. And the Westerners are dominating because they research and new things what they are able to contribute. So India is slowly picking up now. We must have more research institution. And Mangalore is an ideal place for that. You can have a lot of research institution. Even yesterday, I, Prime Minister was talking about, no, you know, um, Puttavarthi, that uh, Sai Baba Institute mm -hmm. was talking most uh, more institution, yeah, to research institutions. So that is education. Healthcare also, we can have a lot of good doctors are there, good facilities are there. So uh, what you call medical tourism is also another possibility. Education tourism also another possibility. Plus also we can have a cruise coming there, a beautiful harbour. And you can have a cruise tourism from the west coast. Sir, so is there any opportunity, uh, as I said, uh, healthcare, of uh, uh, wellness tourism? Yeah, wellness uh, is a part of Wellness can be combined with health uh, tourism. Okay. For example, nowadays uh, the whole healthcare industry is changing to illness to wellness. Very <laughs> 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 <That> nice place. <laughs> you can see spas are there, yes, then uh, massage and the. Uh, Nutrition. You pamper yourself. Yeah, yeah. So many things to make them fit. And also, not only fit, you make them productive also. It's another way of looking at things. We have got education institution to out to increase productivity, MDPs management programs, self improvement programs. All these things are coming up. So that could be an ideal place to look into that. Because uh, the two things can. Uh, bring a lot of uh, revenue and uh, people to Mangalore. One is yeah. uh, the hospitals uh, which you have initiated yeah. Yeah. and uh, people uh, staying abroad. Yeah. For them, uh, taking yeah. a facility in their country will be costlier. Yeah. Yeah. Coming down to Mangalore, getting treated, yeah. stay yeah. for some time <coughs> and go back. Where yeah. uh, They come by cruise liner, yeah. stay back for uh, some time yes. and take the yeah. ship. Good uh, possibilities there, a lot of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Plus also another area we find is our SEZ, Social Economic Zone, we have got here, we have got the refinery and many of the related things can come up there. So there is also a lot of scope for future development. So one thing in the past which we have seen, uh, I don't know how it started, uh, Mangalore was uh, known uh, for uh, one is tiles. Yeah, first is tiles. Uh, Mangalore tiles, tiles is a branded uh, yeah, yeah. product in the entire uh, yeah. world. Uh, people are you know, curious to come and see <laughs> how it's manufactured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is also a tourist destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these cruise liners, they want some group uh, visit That's such right. tile factories. And also the tiles which they used in their place has got Mangalore name. Oh! <laughs> it's known as Mangalore yeah. tiles. It, has, it is a patented uh, That's right. uh, brand and yeah. the design. The other is uh, uh, very unique. I think there should yeah. be some thorough research to be done. Uh, the BDs. Right. The, the raw materials are not from here. Yeah. They bring from Madhya Pradesh, Andhra yeah. and some yeah. that belt. Yeah. Uh, and they roll yeah. beaters and again it is exported and uh, yeah. uh, consumed right. somewhere else. Yeah. Every right. household uh, yeah. that is it is involved. It is in another industry which has given lot of potential for employment. Exactly. Beauty industries to this region. Right from the beginning mm -hmm. and uh, many are employed. And they are having uh, good, better life out of this. Because mostly women who do not go work outside in the field okay. can do this at home. <coughs> and that also spoiled uh, the, the labor, uh, it, it created a labor shortage in the yeah. fields yeah. where we used to grow a lot of uh, yeah. rice and other right. uh, yeah, uh, yes. products. Mm. But uh, mm. it has, you know, maybe one industry has uh, uh, killed the other. It was yeah. definitely not a sustainable yeah. growth. But it has grown on its own. It has grown, yes. Now again, uh, things have changed. Uh, what I, uh, we see a lot of hospitals in Mangalore, yeah. super specialty hospitals. Yeah, right. yeah. uh, I think what 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 is that? You know, we can uh, tell the world. Normally, what happens? Uh, we can't individually market one hospital. Yeah. It has to be a total package. That's right. Yeah. Uh, in that level, let's see, healthcare is a growth sector plus also changing things very, very fast. 
Now, earlier times, if you have seen you know, the one nursing home, we can manage most of the cases. Now. Then we came to know corporate hospitals started by companies like uh, Dr. D. Apple Hospital started there. We started the unit in corporate layer, but small form, 250 beds, uh, as early as 80, 78. But what has happened now is the demands of healthcare is so much known all over India because of our population. That's right. And also affordability. Many can afford good health, healthcare treatment. So it is widely grown all over, coming in different form. But it is just one area which is not well regulated hospital management, hospital quality, etc., which is slowly coming in now. Like you have got five star hotels now, three star hotel. That is not there in healthcare. We have five star hospitals, but no <laughs> hotels here. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but uh, we have uh, the tendency of this accreditation slowly coming in now by the government and other agencies. So quality will also improve in the course of time. But the future is in healthcare is also changing, as I said, from multi speciality to single speciality hospitals. Unity Health Complex, Dr. C. P. Habi Brehman, our Mukhestikeli, Karnataka, Agras Thana, the Lirva Aspatrigali, Vandagitu, Emergency Service K, Vondu Sone, Aidu Edu Sone, Eda K. Karemadi, She Chikitse, Nupade Bahudagi, Unity Health Complex, Expect Life, and ISO 9001-2000 Certified Hospital, Falni Road, Mangalore. Guhantara, a new world under the earth created with human imagination and creativity. A perfect cave living model with all modern amenities to relax and to recreate. The first and largest cave resort in India spread under three acres of land with playgrounds on top of it. Gohantara is beyond your imaginations, an ambience which existed 5,000 years ago, presented to you with modern facilities. Once you come in Gohantara, never goes out of your memory. Gohantara, Kanakpura Road, Bangalore. by narrow domestic walls. Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. I love India! The future is in healthcare is also changing, as I said, from multi-speciality to single-speciality hospitals. Heart center, then ophthalmic, eye center, eye clinic, eye hospital.